understanding that they're all coming from similar principles so people that have a decent amount of business in europe are starting just to apply european standards across the board and now they might rein it in a little bit and be a little bit more free in their marketing initiatives and maybe just say cold outreach and stuff which is a bit looser in the us compared to the eu but by taking a standard and using that as the baseline for the business so specifically the gdpr is a good one because it's the kind of high white watermark when it comes to global data privacy if you take that as the baseline of your business and really take effort to understand the gdpr and how it applies to the business then you're going to be 99 percent compliant with the rest of the global data privacy laws and as i said data mapping is a great place to start then layer on top of that you've got your risk assessment like take stock of okay what risks are here what type of data i'm collecting is it like quite your basic email addresses passwords stuff like that deliveries addresses or are we in an industry or a business that we're looking for more to say health related data are we taking orders over the phone and we've got oh, heaven forbid <laughs> credit card details on post-it notes stuck to your computer oh. screen <laughs> so it's kind of taking stock of what exactly is happening and then just taking uh, trying to do your best to understand it and really um, trying your best to protect it. Because as you said, we're seeing an evolution now. And before it was like stick up a website, get traffic to it and happy days, you've got a business. Now this is just another way of, it's another requirement for a business owner to understand these things. And like uh, for personal data, there is certain businesses and you have to say, okay, I've got my typical typical shop or an online seller and the likes of that and they're really dealing with the most minimal amount of data possible to deliver their service but they still have to take kind of steps to make sure that they're using it properly and correctly and the likes of that what a lot of these data privacy laws are and when we're looking at the bigger picture is that they want to future proof i guess future generations when it comes to their online experience and like the use of technology because we know that technology is evolving in a way that maybe in five ten years like the ability to identify individuals the ability to predict their behavior the ability to uh, do all sorts of things is going to be like a hundred times more than it is now and the laws that they're putting in place is trying to future proof and make sure that companies that are coming out now are operating by a set of standards that makes it safer for us in the future and for future generations to really get the most out of online and IoT and technology and the likes of that. So I suppose, yeah, just for your for your typical businesses, it's really it's like doing a a course in finances or bookkeeping and the likes of that. Now we just have to take the effort to try and educate ourselves around what's right and what's wrong when it comes to to the use of data. Mantra, 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 mantra.